guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. Last time, we did go into the skies and go into this island of sorts, which used to be the old place for the Watchers. There we obtained an ore and a puff puff that was very enlightening and it ascended us to great heights. Anyway, today we are continuing right where we left off in Galapolis. Well, we kind of left off in Arborea completing the quest, but, you know, we're here in Galapolis because we need to be here. We need to search for the hammer. See what? First, let's see what's in the stores, which I don't think. Ooh, oh, yeah, but I, I do have something better. Hmm. I did want to get her to have something better. Mm, there is the worm wand. But I need to forge it. I need stuff. And I still don't have anything to forge it, sadly. Anything here? I think our armor would be best. No, 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 no. Calm it down. Yeah. Ooh, Raging Bull Helm. Interesting. This is actually better for both of them. Hmm. We already got the dancer's costume for them. Dane. Da -da -da. Ooh. Bandit Mail is good for Jade. So let's get the bandit mail for her. Jade. Velvet cape. Yeah, it's better than the velvet cape. And the velvet cape was plus threed. Uh, Raging bull helm. For me true. And another raging bull helm for Sir Hendrick. There we go. That's good. Anyway, let's find out what we have to do. Oh, I kind of skipped that. Whoops. Well, I guess this is where we needed to go to the Sultan. Your Majesty, I come bearing news. Huh? Ferris, you're here. My boy, please. Your reckless heroics will get you killed. Didn't you want him to be a hero, like, some time ago? Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. Will it? Um... I don't think that should be best for you to go alone. Your Majesty, how can we help? Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I. You had the idea, didn't you? What in the name of the. Surely this cannot be! Hey! It's been a while, eh, Your Majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings and the disaster that followed. Oh, yeah, they know each other, obviously. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Hmm. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Chameleon and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. That's true. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Yes, we need all the information we need. Oh, you have, I mean. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. That's not good. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Hmm. 
Interesting. This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the ruins more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. Hmm. I see. Interesting. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these ruins ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? Yes, we should. Let's go. It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Don't worry. We got it. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. All right, let's go there. Oh, there's Ferris. Why does the scholar look so scared? No, 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 no. You agreed to do this. What? Come. We must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, your highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no, but... Then you oh, must go. Poo. Hello, darling. Long time no see. Sylvando. Uh, what an uh, unexpected pleasure. <laughs> the Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy. Hmm. Ah. I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, your highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Mm -hmm. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! Oh boy. You know who I am, your highness? But of course! You are my hero. You are every aspiring knight's hero. To serve under your command is my life's ambition. Aww. I am honored, your highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight, wherever or whomever you serve. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sorry to butt in, your highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. Indeed mm -hmm. I was, old man. That Whoa. fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I might be able to help out there. If you'll allow me. You are some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent. I will be very much obliged. The ruins can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Just leave, I guess. Why don't you go? <laughs> Come on, man. You could have gone. Oh, these are new. Come here. Robo Robins. Ooh, all right. I get to attack with them immediately. And they're gone. That wasn't very hard. Prince? Oh no, why are you? Why are you, are you okay? Pr pr get, get up there. Get, mm, Jesus Christ. Why am I struggling to get up some stairs? Are you okay? Taking a nap, Principal. And there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. Truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? Oh, so that's what you're doing. Hmm. Whoa. That is... 
menacing. Uh, why is it so dark? <sighs> You're a special one, darling. Don't go changing. Hmm? That's the one that appeared when catastrophe was gonna happen in my kingdom. Anyway? And how come they're out here all on their own in the middle of the desert? A very dark one. Huh? Oh, they have been here forever. Since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers, or some such nonsense. Hmm. No. <laughs> Where is it going? They were built for something very important. I just know it. <gasps> Ooh, maybe some kind of stage. No. What a place to perform. Can you imagine? I doubt it. Um, I still want to know what this is. You weren't wrong about the runes, your highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? All right, you do that, Rob. Yeah. What is it doing? Can I go to this? Can I talk? Yes, I can. Hello, little fella. Yes. The luminary, right? Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself and we all know what that means. I'm not crazy. I'm talking to this little fella that nobody can see. Hmm. Huh? Whoa. What's happening? Oh boy. The lantern. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's falling. It's falling. It's falling. We're going to be squished. Oh no. Rob. What the heck is that? Hurry up. There's also something coming. Kalas. Kalas. Boss. Please, Lord Robert. It is too dangerous. Oh boy. Run. Please. What is this? That's not going to do anything. Never mind. What, what, what is this? What, what is happening? Oh boy. I just killed it. Oh my lord. It just exploded it like nothing. Shadows. Apparently. The lantern. It has disappeared. The star was named for Erdwin, but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes? Was the foul creature wielding the sword not? Yeah. Uh, that was no foul creature, Sir Hendrik. 
That was the savior of Galopolis. He spared us all from the falling star. Oh boy. Hmm. I highly doubt it. Saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. Yeah. I must return to the city and spread the news. Come and find me at the palace if you need me. Bye, I guess. <laughs> yes. oh. oh boy. Calasmus. What could that mean? Uh, would that be the name of the hammer? Hmm. Why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom. Maybe he knows something. I'd hope so. Hmm. So, let's be on our way, I guess. The ghosty, right? What's wrong, little fella? I'm so confused about what these things are. Alright, I am going to go all the way over there and grab that campsite. And I'll meet you guys in Galapolis Palace. Alright, back at the palace. Let's actually see if the Sultan knows anything. Oh, Sultan, we're here, your majesty. What kind of lies is he fitting you? He did not become heroic and expose the lantern itself. To see you safe, my friends. When the star shattered, I could not help but fear the worst. We're fine, don't worry. Faris has explained all that came to pass out upon the sands. It seems a savior appeared and destroyed the lantern before it could lay waste to my kingdom. I highly doubt it. Aye. Though, I wouldn't go calling him your savior just yet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, never mind that now. There's something I want to ask you, your majesty. The runes on the barrier around the star, they spelled out a word. Kalasmus. Does that mean anything to you? Kalasmus. Hmm. Sadly, it does not. <sighs> well, if it was written on the side of a star, you can bet it means something. Something important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what it, would it be? That's Never the question. can't go letting it distract us too much. Mordigan's not going to defeat himself. We've what to be getting on with. Mm -hmm. Lord Robert, your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows is a noble one. The people of Galopolis will be praying for your success. Thank you. Yes. And if there is ever anything you require, you need only ask. After all, I still owe you a favor. You really do. Oh, I clean forgot. We need to ask the Sultan about that hammer that used to belong to Erdwin. How can you forget that? Not like I forgot it myself, but you know. <laughs> Alright, Your Majesty, we need a hammer used to forge a special sword. Is there something I can help you with, Lord Robert? Yes. As a matter of fact, there is. I need to pick your brains about a giant hammer that's supposed to be kept here in Galopolis. We're going to need it to defeat Mordigan, and apparently, you lot have had it since the Age of Heroes. Hmm. The giant hammer, you say? Oh, yes. You mean the forging hammer? It has been in the royal family for generations. That's good. That is Fetch the forging hammer from the treasure room. Hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he looks so happy. Ah, oh, yes, that's it. That's the one. Aye, this is it. This is Erdwin's hammer. The one we saw in the vision. Father? Do you truly intend to give the hammer away? We had intended to sell it in order to fund this year's San National. <clears throat> Silence! Insolent boy. What? You're crazy. <clears throat> the forging hammer is one of Galopolis's greatest treasures. It has been handed down through the generations since time immemorial. 
Like the branch you suddenly just gave out? Yeah, okay. But if we must relinquish it, then so be it. You are the only ones who can defeat the Lord of Shadows. If you need it, it is yours. Thank you. We got the forging hammer. All right. My nurse once told me that the power of the spirit of the land resides within the forging hammer. Hmm. It is said that it can beat even the hardest of metals into shape. At least I think that is how the story goes. At least, okay. Well, I hope it helps you on your quest. Best of luck, dear friends. I shall be expecting good news. Thank you, Prince Ferris. All right, let's be on our way and see what we find. Ah, I see a quest this way. Hello. Oh dear, I came here to research Erdren's lantern. I'm an astronomer, you see, but now it's gone and disappeared. So, I'm not sure what to do. Some of my colleagues have managed to find some shards of the lantern out in the desert, though. I've seen a couple and they look absolutely fascinating. I'd love to perform a few experiments on one. But I've heard the desert's crawling with monsters. There's no way someone like me could venture out there on a shard hunt. You look like you can handle yourself, though. I don't suppose you'd be able to go out there and find one for me, would you? Sure, why not? Really? Oh, thank you. As far as I heard it, the shards have been turning up in the desert in the Norfolk Calopolis. If you could find one and bring it to me, I'd ever be so grateful. I'll be waiting here for you, alright? Alright, then let's zoom over to the North Desert and try and find it. Good thing we grabbed that campsite. Which I hope you guys did. Oh, I see something shiny, something yellow. This is a lantern shard. There we go. This is where it is. This is where we found the... This is where we found the... Where we fought the desert thing. The sand destroyer or whatever the name was. All right, let's zoom back to Galopolis. Well, those big monsters are right there. I'm sorry, horsey. All right, here you go. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Wait, does this mean you found the lantern fragment for me? Yeah, here you go. You have? Oh, thank you so much. I'll start preparing my experiments right away. But these are... Oh gosh, now this is fascinating. Do you see the runes on the shard you brought me? These are the same ones that are on those ruins in the desert. The ones that are said to date from ancient times. This reinforces my theory that Erdung's lantern contained the power of the ancient hero for whom it was named. The meaning of the rune is a bit more mysterious though. It's something like entrusted to you, people of the future. What does that mean? Did Erdwin entrust us with his power? I'm going to need to re research this in a lot more depth. The lantern shard could potentially lead to some really groundbreaking discoveries. Thank you for going for all the trouble to getting this for me. Here, a little token of my gratitude. Three agates of evolution. All right. All right, let's actually, hmm, let's actually check. We haven't checked back here in a while. Let's see if there's anything new with the races. Oh, these are the, yeah, champions challenge. Best time, best time. Easy, easy. Okay, let's do, ooh, gold cup. Ooh, we have to, and we have to beat the time. That is a very large course. All right, let's actually do this. We have one more. So let's actually do this. The gold cup. All right, let's skip it. I don't want to sit here and watch the course. I can just study it as I go. All right, I forgot how to do this. All right. So it was R2 to accelerate, I think. Yep. All 
All right. Oh my god, that sucks. I forgot how to drift. All right. Oh, I missed everything. Oh, drats. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. It was two laps, but ugh. It's going to be so hard catching up to that guy. That guy's so far ahead. There we go, we passed him. We didn't beat the time. We have to go again. Ugh. I'll show you after I beat the time. <laughs> this is gonna suck again. New record, but not the great time. Okay, I forgot how to play this, that's why. Come on. Yes, let's go. That was so close. Oh my god. That was way too close. That was way too close for comfort. Awarded for an impressive performance in the Gold Cup at the racetrack in Calapolis. All right. Let's go for the difficult one and do that one too. Oh, almost beat it. That bump I got earlier, like screwed me over. Well guys, just real quick, I have beat both the difficult and normal. I mean easy and difficult. And my last stop should be auto, right? So let's head to the mountain where we left off. Auto steep. Alright, so this is where we were supposed to be. This is Mount Huji. And this is... Yeah, there's a little things I fought at the beginning. So, oh, oh, are these liquid metal slimes? Please tell me those are make slick slimes. Never mind. I, I really thought those were metal slimes. I was so excited for no reason. What? Oh no. So if I'm that, are the. Are the little flame thingies, like if they attack me, gonna combust me into flames or something? Because I'm very highly flammable. Okay, never mind. This is just abuse now. I think I got here first when I was in my 30s and now I'm, <laughs> I'm level 50. Alright, I don't think we need to fight any of these. Except these dragons because I want more dragon stuff. Ooh, metal hands. And hardy hands. Whack. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, okay, it missed. Whew. That was good. Ooh, good thing it missed. Right, um, thunder thrust to the hardy hand. Oh, come on. It never hurts. I needed to hit. I just needed to hit. Um, where's Boom? Here it is. Even though I'm just attacking that one because the hand does not uh, doesn't connect often. Please, please, please. Let's go. Let's go. How much? 
Oh uh, yes, 35,000. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. Everybody's just leveling up. That's what I like to see. Oh, okay, so let's keep going forward. Is there really no chest at all here? Or any sparklies? Hmm. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... <gasps> oh, no. That does not sound good. What in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. No, it didn't. That sounds like a dragon. Down there, look! Is it a dragon? Is that one of the... Hmm. This is one of the things that we saw in the desert. Whoa! Or not. That is one. <gasps> Tatsunaga! Tatsunaga? What? Tatsunaga. The beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? Guess not. This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. Hmm. That liar, that cheat. Mother will not die for this. Miko must be stopped. Yes. Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told. Oh, that's it? That's all we wanted to... That's all we... Okay, that's all we needed to do here. So let's go to Haro then and confront the Miko. Oh, Miko. You liar and cheat. Everybody, everybody! Be still, Atsuo. You must be like a spring breeze, not a howling gale. I will not be still. I will howl it to heaven. Tatsunaga lives. What nonsense he speaks. Tatsunaga is no more. Miko told us so. No, she's lying. No, the creature lives. It roars and howls in its lair. Loud as the mountain. <sighs> you lie, wretched child. A beast blocks the way upward. You could not have passed. I am the beast, the unholy fiend you feared, me and my sister. Mm -hmm. What? Yep. We took our mother and sought to keep you from her with a bold disguise. Idiot children. Your games will see us all killed by the mountain's rage. Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices. You seek dragon food. Ooh. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon will not save you now. And what of Ryu, hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Whoa. Hush, mewling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of sacrifices? <laughs> Can it truly be? The dragon's death, a facade? Dislodged by the breeze? Well, the gist is up. Why all this? Why sate the mountain's anger? We die anyway. Silence! The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him and paid with his life. Uh, uh, uh. 
Now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. You risk all our lives. What Bring happened forth then? your mother. The flames burn ever stronger while our time grows short. You shall not have her. I see through your web of lies. A cursed spider. There's Tatsunaga. No. Miko. That's wrong. Come quickly. Yeah, let's actually go. Oh boy. This is not good. Oh, a load screen immediately as I walk out. Oh boy. Why is he here? Whoa. Why is he here? Oh, shoot. Your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. What? <gasps> no, Mistress Miko. Oh, my God, what? Quickly! Fire. He will kill us all. Fate hangs by a thread. We must fight fire with cold steel. You must face the beast. Yes. I must do that. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Oh my god. He just ate Miko. Come here, beast. Where are you? Oh, you came down. Do battle with the dragon? Yeah. So it swallow the priestess. Be on your guard. Yeah. Oh. Tatsunaga draws an ear, alright. Oh, that's a multi thrust to you. Oh no 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 wait, wait, wait. We all know it's revamp time. Alright, let's um use a unbridled blade. Alright, um, let's use Kabuff on everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it, absolutely nothing. Tatsunaga. Tsk, tsk, tsk. If only you were strong. You would have been stronger earlier. But now you are nothing. You're almost dead already. Mm. Let's use multi heal just to heal up. I don't need her to attack right now. Parallax and Jade, I think, will kill him. Or Parallax. Easy. Victory is ours. And just like that, we just beat the baddest dragon that everybody feared here. But what is the story of it, though? 
Oh, it's still alive. And it's gone. Okay. That... Okay. All right. <laughs> the beast flees. Chasen. Dust settles. Sunlight returns. The village is saved. That's good, but we need to slay it completely. Hmm. The bitter truth dawns. Day breaks. It's light, hush, cruel. Miko is no more. <laughs> First Ryu, now Miko. The lion's taken from us. Only sheep remain. No. Did you see her trying to protect that thing before it ate her? What was that about, huh? That's a good question. Who can know her mind? The sun of her heart eclipsed. Treachery blinds her. Is it that easy? If one thing is clear. Until its flame is smothered, the beast is a threat. Mm -hmm. Tatsunaga's lair, at the heart of the mountain, reached by the great gate. It must be unlocked. Miko's maid, she has the key. Come now, to the shrine. Alright, let's actually go to her maid and get that key then. Guessing in here in this door. Dragon. Are the gods so cruel? To pile like rocks upon her, burden on burden. Hmm? We came for the key. The one for the mountain gate. There, the dragon waits. With Miko's light gone, yours is the only glimmer. Take it. It is yours. Hmm. Thank you. Come, we have the key. Clouds part. The way ahead clears. The end is at hand. All right, let's go. Wait. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You must know the truth. It sleeps between these pages. Wake it. Make it yours. Sure. Looks like a diary of some kind. Must be Miko's. Mm -hmm. Let's read it then. Let's see what my the truth is. Rend my heart. I must confess them all three. Thus, I record them. All right, so we're back where we left off. Um, my PS4 just suddenly shut off. So, <sighs> this is great. I've been having problems and problems and problems. Yikes. Uh, I don't want to buy another PS4. Please let it not be like a problem that I need to spend $300 on, please. <sighs> anyway, back to where we were. The battle was fierce. At last the dragon lay prone. My son drew his sword. But then, like a fog, blackness rose from the dragon. Poor Yu was smothered. I carried him home. He tried to fight the darkness, but the night prevailed. Mm. The beast had cursed him. Pain racked my poor boy's body. I watched his form change. Oh. He was a dragon. I had to hide him away. Pretend he was dead. Oh. Wow. <gasps> Can her words be true? Not Tatsunaga, but Ryu. This is who we fought? Hey, don't interrupt, honey. I want to hear how it ends. We all saw how it ended. <sighs> Could he be restored? A storm of doubts assailed me. But then the skies cleared. The magic mirror in which true forms are revealed. This might save my son. Alas, the mirror neither revealed nor restored. Though I tried and tried, my son's hunger grew. 
The hunger of the dragon for the flesh of men. It burns like hot sun. The agony of knowing. The choice that I make. But my son must live. Till I master the mirror I wear by my heart. Oh. Oh. Thus have I chosen. Though others' lives are squandered, my boys must be saved. Wow. Ugh, it's a tragic tale. The poor woman, torn between her child and her people. It's a choice you wouldn't wish on anybody. Yeah. Maybe if we could get our hands on that mirror she mentioned, we might have more luck with it than she did. The dragon swallowed it? But Miko is gone. The magic mirror with her. The light of hope fades. Dang. If only she told that sooner. You cannot be saved. Only the creature remains. You must forget him. I don't Mother think Devourer. so. Peril. Foul scourge. Murderer. The beast must be slain. But that's not his fault. Yes. The time has come. Meet me on the western path before the great gate. <sighs> sure. This is not easy. Ah, oh, my God. It's a heavy, heavy heart. Nico. No. Oh. Her sacrifice, though. Oh, we get a mini middle here. Oh, great. <laughs> I guess she does have nothing else. Anyway, we're going to end things here. Knowing about the Miko and the tragic, tragic tale that happened to her. Anyway, leaving this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I have this it is quite tragic and I just don't know what to say. It's a very, very tragic tale that happened to her son and to her. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please leave a like and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you guys talk me, want to talk me on my social media, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.